everyone, Local 43866 here today. Today I'm reviewing Star Wars 2018, the Vintage Collection, Rogue One, um, Captain Cassian Andor. It's VC-130, so this is a, um, it's not a new figure, it was originally released in the Black Series um, 3.75 collection, and so it's been re-released. Um, I don't know if it's photo real or not. I think his face is good enough, whether it's not photorealistic or not. Um, it depends on how old the figure is. Um, I think he probably came out in like 2016. Maybe 28. Well, at least the Black Series figure, and he would have, this one came out in 2018, so, um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me, but it's still a good figure either way. Um, and it's, so that's why I picked him up. It's great. He's, he's a cool character. He's got his own show coming out soon. Um, well, next couple of years, I suppose. And he's got a buildable gun, and that's pretty cool. I mean, I reviewed um, Jyn or so, so I definitely had to get her, get him, I mean. Um, and it's just fun, and you could even customize him with his jacket and stuff. Like, you could, like, I mean, make him into just another rebel person. Like, customize him, give him a new head or whatever. Like, make him, like, a re rebel soldier, whatever you want to do. Um, so, yeah. VC VC 130. So it's, he's VC 130. Um, this is the first time he's been released in the vintage collection. Second time he's been released in general. Um, so you see, he's got other. Um, he's the only. He's the only um, Rogue One figure we've seen aside from Jenna Urso and um, what's the robot's name? can't remember he like just came out he's in a new wave um he like just came out this year it's like the second wave of the year i think and um so yeah these were that's solo and that's the last jedi and this is expanded universe um marvel comics so yeah so it's pretty cool to get some rogue one figures um so yeah it's very cool you know they're gonna have a rogue one playset so that's um you know, the Tanta by V hallway scene, so that's pretty cool. So it's just fun, it's just fun and timely to get some Rogue One figures. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to take him in, take him out. Um, very nice. He looks great. Smells great. Um doesn't say which year they kind of stopped doing that it looks like about uh you know like 2018 looks like they stopped putting the year on which is kind of disappointing but i guess if you know what if you you know those co collectors who know every little detail they th they'll know which year it came out but it's kind of just a little nitpicky thing that's kind of disappointing but oh well I guess they kind of maybe do that so that people can't pass them off as the original release, but it's okay. So yeah, he's got his um, holster right here. Um, it can't really move right. Can't. It's not that movable, so I imagine it can't be taken off and customized. Um, he's got his nice jacket. I've seen people take these off, but I'm not going to do that. Um, he even has a little bit of... Uh, yeah, I think this might be a factory mistake, because he, he looks a little bit like he has a little bit dirt on him, but I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Anyway, not a big deal. He's got this, such a cool jacket. Like, look at those lines down his, um, got the design going down his arms, and they've got that, and that, and that's cool. And, like, you can even see the zipper, like, that's, like, not the zipper, but the part that you zip up. And just cool, like, all the creases and everything, it's pretty cool. You got that, looks like maybe bullets. Well, no, those wouldn't be bullets. There's no bullets in Star Wars. Okay, um, so we're gonna open up the gun. That'd be cool. There's a little sniper rifle that he uses to kill. Um, he doesn't kill him, he tries to kill um, Jen Arso's dad. Oh, 
Oh no, they went flying. Okay, good, I found it. Easily, okay, that's pretty good. All right, so you have that. And these are kind of like bigger blisters than they used to make them, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. So yeah, just that, got that green pill and the green background, you have that, so. So yeah, I like to collect the card backs. I usually, I usually just rip them off, but right now, these days, I'm going to just cut them out so that it won't leave this behind. Like, you kind of just, like, you go from the blister, like, see, this one was cut out, um, and you leave the rest on. Like, I can show you, like, I would have cut, cut that part out and, like, left this part on, and it would have, um not rip the um, paint so much and the card so much, but I didn't take that into consideration when I was unboxing him. Not a big deal, but it's for next time. Oh cool, he even has a little hole in his holster so that he can put his little gun in his holster. That's so cool. See, look. That's awesome. I'm going to put him on the stand. It does not come of a stand. This is just from other figures I've collected over the years. And I'm using it to just display him right now. That is awesome. This is a really great figure. Like this, I think this is going to turn out to be like one of the best figures. Like, wow. Like, he's got, you know, swivel hips. That's awesome. He's got awesome cargo pants. So detailed. You can see his pockets. His belts are so, his, look, he's got a, he's got buckles on his boots, that's so cool. Um, look, they look great, it's just so detailed, so cool. It smells great too, um, uh, I mean, look. That's cool. I guess they could have made that a little bit more detailed, but, hey, it's, it's good enough. Um, that's cool, look, they even have his belt and everything, that looks awesome. Like, swivel. Swivel, swivel. That's cool. And like sometimes when they have collars, it kind of inhibits um, their heads from moving, but it's actually, it doesn't. Um, you can see the paint on his face is a little bit messed up where his, um, there's some paint on his nose. It's not supposed to be there, but that's not a big deal. It's good enough. Um, especially since I ordered it online. It could be worse, so. Um, his hair is great. Looks really great he has a great mustache and the way they did his beard is just great so yeah it's just great it definitely looks like Diego Luna um, so yeah I'm gonna oh he even has articulated wrist awesome I love how they make him like this these days like look he can like really he's like a true cowboy he can pull his gun out like that that's cool it's also, um, do his wrist on that side. There's a little bit of a weird, um, error right here where he has, it looks like he has a scar or something on his hand, but it's not supposed to be there, but not a big deal. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's build the gun now. This is cool. Jyn also came with a buildable gun. I'm not gonna, um, compare them, but, because I don't want to have to go find that right now. Well, I guess I could. No, I'm not going to. So yeah, when I was reviewing her, I actually forgot that it could be that I thought it was like the gun and the little and the um, rifle with her little handgun. No, you use the handgun together and put them together, and it makes a bigger gun. So um, don't forget that when you're making it, or else you'll be searching for a gun piece that doesn't exist. Okay, so there we go. Just like in the movie, he puts it together. Uh, so now he has his rifle. Very cool. He even has his scope and everything. So yes, it's very accurate. Very cool. It's just awesome. Some hardcore collectors are going to want it just because of this awesome gun. And it's just a great figure. It's good for army building because like I said, you can customize his face. Just like take a, take a random face of like a duplicate 
figure that you don't need and put it, stick it right on there. And it'd be pretty cool. So yeah, it's Captain Cassian Andor's look pretty awesome. So yeah, it's just a tad fragile. So what I would do is I'd put his handgun in his first in his hand first and then build it, but didn't really think about that until now. So yeah, you put that on there. And you can put it in his shoulder like that. Oops, see it's a little bit fragile. So that's the closest we're probably gonna get it to his shoulder, but and have his hand, other hand holding it so yeah it looks pretty cool pretty awesome man i love this figure it's so great i'm definitely glad i ordered this i got it for like 4.99 from kids warehouse that's an online retailer they had a couple vintage collection figures for cheap on there and you know so i haven't seen this in stores i've seen online a couple people have found it on stores but i think mostly it was hard to find figure so yeah it's great like, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get this built off if you're a customizer, but I'm not, so I don't care. Um, so yeah, it's great. So cool. So yeah, I recommend you get this figure. It's awesome. It's a fun sex uh, accessories, excuse me. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.